Okay, this next question comes from Francesca Nicasio. And Francesca says, how can a solo freelance writer shift to an agency model and what's the best way to communicate that to clients? Her business description and background of the question is, I'm a freelance writer and I've started hiring other writers to meet demand and grow my business. Right now, I'm the face of the company and many clients want or expect me to do the writing myself. I want to switch to an agency model and I'd love some advice on how to do it right. Should I rebrand my business so instead of marketing myself, I start marketing my team or agency? Or is it okay to continue what I'm doing, which is to be the face of the company and have other writers ghostwrite on my behalf? I love this question, Francesca. Your mindset is right where it needs to be. I think you're, for me, <clears throat> I think you're right on track with the process. And I think for me, if it, I, would, I would do it this way. I would rebrand and create a company. Uh, I would move it away from my name to a real agency name because that way you also are building a company that can become an asset so that someday you can bring in a CEO to take over or you could sell the company. If you can build up the company properly, at some point in the future, you can sell it to somebody else and it makes it easier to do that when you're selling a company as opposed to trying to sell a personal brand that is associated with you. See this all the time. I recommend a rebrand with a new message, with a great strategy to inform and communicate the new message to your existing clientele. New clients won't know the difference. They're gonna see a new company being marketed to them, but existing clients, you wanna create that story. Absolutely, yes, I would rebrand. Paul Schoonover, who's a mentor in our group, his company is really good, really great at doing those rebrands. So if you need an introduction, I'm gonna also make sure that he answers this question. I would reach out to him if you need a resource, a reliable resource on helping you do that rebrand. Um, so there's, that's what I would do. I think it's a great idea. I think the sooner that individual freelancers do that, the better. And the cool thing is you can still be the face of the company. I'm the CEO of Accelerators Organization, but I work for Accelerators Organization. I am building Accelerators Organization. I'm not building the Sean Thomas brand. As we move forward and evolve as a company, you're going to see a lot more faces and a lot more people come into the organization. And at some point, I'll easily be able to hire a new face of the company, a new CEO of the company, and I'll always be the founder uh, of the company. That's the great thing about building an asset, building a business, because it becomes an asset and helps you, uh, helps you uh, build your wealth. It's, it's something you can sell someday. I think that freelancers should do that as soon as possible. If I was a freelancer, I would have a company name, not my own personal name. I wouldn't sell Hire Sean Thomas. It would be Hire XYZ Company, and I'm the CEO of that company. It doesn't matter if I'm the only person or not. In the beginning, that's fine. But it at least gets the path started, and it mentally makes me realize that, hey, I'm building something here. I'm not looking to just be a freelancer and create a job for myself and be self-employed. Not that there's anything wrong with that if somebody wants that type of lifestyle, but with the life, with the mindset you have of wanting to grow, having a company name and, mess, and, and building that asset and building that team is the way to go, in my opinion. All right, fantastic question. Um, I would not go the route of continuing what you're doing and having ghostwriters write for you. I think at some point that, that business model will probably uh, be limited on growth and you're gonna limit the amount of products and services that you can sell to your clients, which would increase revenue and profits for your agency. Okay, I hope that helps. Talk to you soon.